All right, here's my guide for a free-to-play player to get T4 as fast as possible. All right, I've been playing for about three years. I'm at 140 million might, and I've got 102 million kills. I don't like to have millions of troops like a lot of guys do, so I, I always keep a specific number of troops, or my might would be a lot higher if I were building more troops. But that's besides the point here. But once the troops die, I build more back till that exact number, and then I move on. But as far as getting T4 as fast as possible, all right, I'm free to play. I spent a few bucks here and there when I first started playing, and then I quit spending money. And it took me three years to get T4, but I did it all wrong. There's a lot of players that claim they've got it in less than a year without spending any money. Some people say it took them a little over a year. But, all right, I did everything wrong. I started doing researches I shouldn't have been doing. I spent my gems on a bunch of crap. And I'm going to show you the fastest way to get T4. First off, spending your gems, all right? Do not spend your gems on anything you don't have to. You've got all these paid buildings, all right? The first one is your treasure trove. Max out your treasure trove first. Yes, it costs a lot of gems, but... It also pays out a lot of gems. All right, right now I put in 25,000 gems a month and I get 51,500 gems back. So that's pretty much more than doubling the amount of gems I put in every month. And that's really nice. All right, definitely do the Colosseum. I get a lot of gems out of the Colosseum. If you can get below rank 200 in the Colosseum, you can earn a decent amount of gems from that. Alright, so first max out your treasure trove, then you're going to have your battle hall, you're going to have your academy. Uh, I think there's another one that costs gems to level up. But level up all those buildings, alright, level up those buildings first. Use your gems for those buildings, don't, don't use your gems for anything else that you don't have to. Alright, because you need to have those buildings leveled up to get T4. The academy is the last one you can level up. You got to have that academy at level 25. You have to have some of those other paid buildings leveled up before you can level up the academy. So, level up all your paid buildings with gems. Do not spend your gems on anything else. Now, this is what you should focus on on your research. All right. I started doing wall research and I started doing this and I started doing that and I wasted a whole lot of time doing all this research. I clicked on the wrong thing. First off, you have to have all of your economy, except for gem harvesting, maxed out to get T4 troops. If you don't have your economy maxed out, you cannot max out your military. So you need to focus on economy. All right, Max out everything in economy except for gem harvesting. Number two, military. You have to have all of this maxed out to come down here and unlock your T4 troops. All right? Those are the only two researches you should be focusing on if you're trying to rush T4 as fast as possible. So only spend your gems on your paid buildings, only do research on your economy and your military and nothing else. All right? That's if you're not too worried about getting T4 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 really fast, go ahead and do some other stuff. But if you want to get T4 as fast as possible, you need to max those things out. Now, you want to make sure you can focus on getting a lot of things that give you research speed, all right? These level 10 army defense, oh man, these things take forever even with huge amounts of research speed. So, all right, you want to make sure you're leveling up your heroes with the research speed for example all right let's click here let's we're gonna look for research speed some heroes have a whole lot of research speed some don't have any so you're gonna want to make sure you get these heroes all right this guy I've got 25 percent research speed he doesn't have to be my leader he just has to be leveled up to gold to get 25 research speed 
So this is one of the heroes you definitely want to work on because you need that research speed. Research speed is crazy important. I never cared too much about building speed, but research speed, you need that. You need that big time. All right. So there's only a couple of heroes that actually have the research speed, but it's very important to max those out to gold as soon as possible. Because, I mean, some of those level 10 researches take a long time. A long time. It's, it's no joke. You also, you're going to want to save all of your research speed ups for those military level 10s because they are ridiculously long if you don't have a whole bunch of speed ups. So don't waste your speed ups on anything you don't really need to. Use them all for your level 10 military because I'm telling you those things take forever. All right. See, she's got a research boost. She's only got 1.25%. That's one of the heroes I bought at the I spent like five dollars and I got this hero and I've never messed with it because I quit spending money on this game right away I, sp I bought a couple of heroes right off the bat and realized how much it actually cost to level heroes up and I said screw that I'm not buying anything else but there's a couple free to free to play heroes that have uh, a good amount of research speed all right so you want to make sure you level those up anything that gives you research speed is very important your equipment all right there's equipment with research speed um these this equipment here is the easiest to get now these flutes okay each one of these flutes has 26% research speed at gold. So that's huge. You can have three of these. So that's 70, 78% research speed just from this. Okay, every time you're going to start a research, you're also going to want to go into your talents. All right, here's your talents. Right now I'm in my economy talents, and I have the research speed maxed out. And I have training speed maxed out. Those are the only two things I care about when I'm in my uh, economy talents. I've got construction speed, research speed, and I've got, like I just said, training speed to build troops faster maxed out. And then I just put anything else I didn't care about in random things here and there. All right, so you got to make sure you've got the research speed maxed out. Now, if you want to make sure you start at the bottom. Okay, research speed two, I guess that's the, the best one. And you can see that gives me 65% research speed. Research speed one, let's find that. That gives me 40%. So that's 95% research speed in these talents, just because I have those two maxed out. That's huge. Plus the research speed, my heroes, and my equipment, and all that stuff give me. Now there's, a, there's only a couple of builds, a couple of buildings that take a really long time. Like level 25 castle takes forever. But for example, my level 25 infirmaries, they only took like two or three days each. There's a couple of farms, like a couple of resource buildings that took like 15 days each. But for the most part, there's only a couple buildings that really seem to take some time to get to level 25. Most of them go pretty fast. That's why I say I'm not really too terribly worried about construction speed. So research speed is huge because researches take long, a lot of researches take a really long time. So that's the main thing, okay? Get, don't spend your gems on anything until your paid buildings are maxed out. I think there's four or five buildings that cost gems. If you save all your gems and just keep dumping your gems into those paid buildings, they level up a lot faster than you, you can think they're going to level up. Alright, so work on getting that academy to level 25. Work on your military and work on your economy research. 
Now, the only thing I would really, two things I would suggest maybe doing in between there is level up your monster hunting research to at least level seven. That, that You can get that all done pretty fast, all right? It might take you, I don't know, I'm going to guess. I'm not going to guess because I don't know, but it seemed to go pretty fast to level seven. Level eight's even better. I think at level eight, I was able to kill any level one monster with two hits. All right, right now I've got most of mine at level 8 and level 9. I can kill, there's a couple level 1 monsters I can kill with one hit. Most of them it takes two. If your guild kills a whole lot of monsters, you get a whole lot of prizes. We focus on level 1 monsters. There's day I, days I open up the guild gifts and I'll get like 1,500 gems just from a day just from mon, people killing in our guild killing level 1 monsters. So if your guild has a decent gift level and you kill a whole bunch of monsters, you're going to get a whole bunch of prizes and usually a lot of extra gems. So your treasure trove, monster kills, and your coliseum all earns gems. As you can see right now, I've got 6,000 gems saved up in my coliseum. I get 1,110 gems every three hours. Now, when I was at a better rank, when I was at rank 35 just a couple of days ago, I've been on a really bad losing streak, and now I'm up to 175. But at 35, I think I was getting something like 300 gems every couple hours. I can actually figure that out. At rank 35, I was, okay, I was getting 170 gems every three hours, which is nice, all right? So your treasure trove, your coliseum, and your... Uh, Whatever the other thing I just said. I just draw a blank all of a sudden. But those three things give you gems. Oh yeah, monster hunting. Focus on, have your guild focus on hunting a crap load of level 1 monsters. Alright, you'll get a whole lot of gifts and you should get more gems. Alright, so paid buildings. Get those leveled up. Don't spend your gems on anything you don't have to. Research. Focus on military economy and maybe do a little bit of monster hunting research in there the other research I was saying I skipped it but there is treasure trove research which you can level up your treasure trove a little bit I think most of those went pretty fast so you might want to take a little bit of break here and there and level up your treasure trove so you can get a few more gems every month but for the most part you're focusing on economy and military because you have to have those maxed out to get T4 um, monster hunting is definitely good because the more monsters your guild kills, the more gifts you get, and the more gems you get. Make sure you focus on items that give you research speed. That's very important. And I think I covered everything here on how to get T4 as fast as possible. Alright, hope this video helps.